Hi there, my name is Mike Lang. I'm the Cancer Bridges Survivorship Network Coordinator and I am here with Dr. Michael Specka. And uh, he is a clinical oncologist with the Tom Baker Cancer Center as well as an associate professor at the University of Calgary in their oncology uh, department. And so we're going to ask him about uh, sort of a common sort of idea that you hear thrown around in the cancer community and we just want to know if it's if it's true or if there's if it's a myth and uh, that idea is you know um, if somehow uh, me being stressed out could actually cause cancer you know is there some sort of relationship between my me being stressed out and me getting cancer and so what do you think about that idea <laughs> okay so I'm going to try to condense a very complex question into mm -hmm. a fairly brief answer and that is that that this has been uh, uh, studied quite a bit and um, at this point we don't see a clear link between stress in your life and causing cancer. Uh, it's very difficult to study mm -hmm. so I think what we have to say really on balance is that we can't give a definitive answer but that anybody that tells you that it's known that stress causes cancer is wrong. Mm -hmm. Now many patients do feel intuitively that that is a case for them. And you know, I'm not going to say that I know better, but I, I do know that the science doesn't support a clear-cut link. Mm -hmm. You know, we do have a link between if you're stressed in your life and then you smoke or you drink, then you're likely to have your increased rate of certain kinds of cancers, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. But no one-to-one -one clear, this causes that. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so I could tell you a lot more about it. It's, mm -hmm. it's kind of complex, but uh, mm -hmm. I think one of the kind of bottom lines with this whole question is that we don't want people living their life excessively stressed or depressed anyway, no matter what. And so, you know, if, if we have life, we want it to be good life. And so mm -hmm. that's our goal, to figure out how to live life well, to, to be, find joy, happiness, fulfillment not to be burdened by excessive amounts of stress and distress, and we, we do know how to do that, so let's do that. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Well, that's cool. It's so cool hearing it come from a medical professional, I think, because I've definitely heard that idea that stress could be causing something, causing cancer, and, uh, and it's really neat to hear uh, a professional saying that, you know, that has not been proven empirically, that it's not, that it's, there's this causative relationship there. Um, so thanks so much for spending some time with us, uh, Dr. Specka. And um, if you want to check out another Myth Survivorship video, it's going to be coming out in a couple of weeks. And I uh, would really appreciate you spending some time with us. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Awesome. Nailed it. That was, that was great.